Hi everyone, this is Cecilia from Bezel. Today I wanted to introduce you to our latest design challenge, the Portal Design Challenge. Um, not only will you be able to create cool portals like this one you're seeing on the screen right now, and we're also giving out prizes like the AirPod Maxes. Um, so stick around for a tutorial coming next. So this is the portal that we'll be making today. Um, it's using a combination of Skybox, uh, animated um, 3D models inside, as well as using occlusions to get this portal-like effect where you can actually enter into the portal. So I'm gonna click on inside the portal. You can see what that looks like um, when the camera is set up inside. And check out this video that I recorded on my uh, iPhone where you can actually see the portal in your space, you can walk inside, you can look around, um, you can see that animated 3D model is you know, flying around. You can also walk out, like back out, and then be able to see that in your space. So that's super cool. You can also see this in headset as well. To get started, you're gonna go to gallery after you're signed in on Bezel. Um, gallery is where we have a lot of example files that you can look at to see how we did things. Um, or also use them as starting points. Um, so from here, uh, this is specifically for the portal design challenge. So you can see that there's a portal design challenge template here. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna duplicate it and then put it into your drafts. So this is what the file looks like. Um, we put various different kinds of portals that you can use. You, you can see that there's some with doors, there's some with like a circular window in different uh, positions. For this specific um, demo that I wanted to show, I'm going to use this door one um, so that you can also go inside and back outside. So it kind of works like a door. Um, I will select the three that I won't be using and then I'm just going to delete them with backspace. And then I'll go ahead and move this to uh, closer to the origin so that uh, when we're anchoring it later on in a real, real space, like real world space, it'll be easier. Um, the way we anchor things is basically based on origin. So that's where you see that blue axis and the Y axis um, meet. So I have that placed over there. And then the second thing I'm gonna do is, um, remember in our portal here, there's this like uh, environment that you see inside. That's actually a skybox. So you can make a skybox by applying um, a skybox texture, like an image texture to a sphere. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is add a sphere. So I'll just type sphere into our command center and then press spacebar, and that'll um, give me this uh, sphere tool. Um, I'll go ahead and then click and drag to make a sphere that is about the same size here. Um, doesn't have to be perfect, but just so that I can hide it behind, like inside this uh, box that we have here. And then I'll show you how to make that into or add an occlusion material to that in a second. So I went ahead and added that sphere inside. Um, the second thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select this um, box here. So you know where it says outer wall? That's where we want to add the cooler material so that anything is behind or inside of this box basically gets occluded and gets hidden from view. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to go to material. Um, I'm going to click on this material that we have named apply. Um, and then from the material type up here, it says unlit material. I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to click occluder. Um, and then you can immediately see that now it is hiding everything behind this. So it's, it's kind of like a magic cape or something like that. Uh, from there, I'm going to uh, actually, I'm just going to delete this door frame, or you can just make it invisible uh, because we're going to be covering that uh, up with these bricks anyways. Okay, so now that's, that that's done, um, let's go ahead and click our sphere again, um, and we'll apply the image texture so that it becomes a skybox. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on the standard material that's on the right side. Uh, from here, I want to add an image texture. So beside color, it has this box with a line through it. Um, that's where you can click so that you can upload your image. Uh, for future reference, you can also add Figma frames here. So you can go down and uh, click Figma, and then you can use our Figma integration to bring things in. 
But for this demo, we'll be just going with image. So I'll click on upload image here. And then um, I'm going to select my the image that I want to use. Um, you might not be able to see this. So this image is actually something I generated from Blockade Labs, which is an AI um, HDRI generating uh, app, which is really cool. You just type in what you want and then it generates it for you. It's very high quality. So it's great for projects like this. So now you can see that that image texture is applied here. Uh, if I move it around like this, um, you'll be able to see that. Um, the issue here right now, I'm just going to pull it out so we can see it better. The issue right here right now is that it's actually applied on like the outside of the sphere. So that's why you're not getting this like feeling of being able to go inside the sphere and like experience the world. Um, so what we can do there to get the effect that we want is with the sphere selected, um, you can go on the right sidebar here and where it says view settings, you click on back. And that essentially applies the image texture to the inside of the sphere so that you can look at that kind of looks like a globe. And then you can like go inside, you can like look around and that's really cool. Um, it's a little dark right now because it's being uh, influenced, oops, influenced by external lights. Um, to make this brighter and kind of like look self lit, um, you can go to standard material and then remember we had unlit material before. Um, so that's what we want to change it to. So I'm going to click on unlit from this drop down. and, um, unlit materials essentially means that it's just not affected by any light sources. Um, so that's why you're able to get this bright, um, bright HDRI or skybox. So now that's ready, I'm going to pull it back inside the cube and then I'll fine tune this later. Um, but if I move this down, you can start to see that you're actually able to like enter inside that and then like look around. It's a little tricky to do right now because it's not fine tuned yet, but there we go. You can like look around now. So that's a big part of um, this tutorial. Like we're basically more than half done. Um, and that was really quick. Uh, from here, you can see that there's a floor. Um, but for this, I really want it to feel like, you know, like you're entering a world. So I actually don't want a floor because that's going to be in the skybox anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and click on floor. Um, you could delete it, but I'm just going to make it invisible for now. Um, and then now you can see that, you know, it kind of looks like a seam, like more of a seamless world now. Um, the issue here now is that this is peeking out at the bottom. So we can kind of do, we can use a hacky way to hide it by uh, making a box with a occluder material as well, and then putting that on top so that it hides it. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, so what we want to do is I'm going to grab the box tool. So type box, um, space bar, and then let's just draw a box. I'm going to try to like match it to what we have as much as possible, um, as an outer box. So I'm going to draw a box like so, and then, um, we do want to be able to see the bottom of the sphere that we're hiding with the box right now. Like if you see, it's having the same issue as floor. Um, so I kind of want it to be um, a topless box, like a, like an open box. Um, to do that, you can use our, uh, you know, our simple modeling tools to do that. To enter modeling uh, mode, you can press enter on while well, you have an object selected or you can just double click. So I'm going to double click. And now you see that there's some modeling tools on top. Um, I'm going to select the inset tool and then select the top of the box. So click that once. And then you see this, these like lines appearing, that's basically showing you how much it's going to be insetting. So I don't want it like too much, um, but a very like, like a small lip kind of all around. So I'm going to click commit. And then the next thing I'll do is actually use extrude tool. So I'll click on the extrude tool here at the top. I'll click on the top face of the box that we just inset. 
And then I'll drag that down so that um, it's, you know, it has almost the same lip as we had on the side. So if I exit that now, um, if I pull this out, you, that, you see that it's kind of like an open box shape, right? So that's how you're able to see the whole sphere when you're kind of moving things around here. Um, I think I accidentally just made this a little too long. So I'm just going to go ahead, grab this edge and then resize it so that it's about the same size as um, this top room box that I have. Once I have that, it still has a standard material. So like this top box, um, I'm going to make it in a cooler material so that it hides everything behind it. So same thing here, go to material, go to standard material and then select a cluder. Cool, look at that. So now we have something that looks very similar to this. Um, and then I, because I'm going to be drawing um, the bricks next, I'm gonna go ahead and lock these so that I don't accidentally move them around. So now, like if I try to click it, I can't click it. Um, I'm going to be drawing some bricks. So again, with the box tool, box tool is basically what I use most of the time. And then I'm going to draw like, just like a, you know, a brick and feel free to, you know, make your own. Um, this is just kind of like personal preference, but I did want bricks that like go around it. So I added a brick there. Um, I'm going to be using the bevel tool here on the right side a little bit so that it's not like a clean edge like that, which is not very realistic. So I'm going to go to the bevel tool. I'll do like 0 0.1. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's clearly too much. So I'm going to do 0 0.02. That looks more like it, right? Yeah. Um, and then I want to, you know, add this like brick texture to it. And these are really simple. Like these are quick and dirty, just like image textures that I'm uh, that I'm using. So what I actually did is just like go to Google, um, search up uh, like brick texture, like brick seamless texture, um, and then save that into your desktop. And then you can just use one of them um, to make it an image texture. And this is what it looks like. It looks a little glossy, like if you can see like the edges here. So I'm gonna um, make this more rough so it feels more like an actual brick. There we go. It's less glossy. So that's one brick down. Oops. And then I'm just gonna duplicate, 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 select all these then duplicate them just so that we make, we go a little faster. And we need like, maybe like one more, two more. Okay. And then I'm going to grab all of these, do command duplicate, move them to the side like that. And then I'll add some to the top. There we go. That's pretty good, right? Yeah. So in here, I had it a little uneven to make it, you know, just just stylistic choice. Um, but just to speed things up, um, I'll I'll still keep them like this. Um, another thing I'm actually gonna do is the front of this brick seems pretty dark, so I'm gonna go ahead and with like nothing with nothing the scene selected, um, go to light direction on this right sidebar. And then try playing around with that to see what kind of an effect um, I could get. That looks a little better. It's still, oh, you know what? It's because this sphere is like protruding out like that. Um, and that's an easy fix. You can just unlock that sphere and select it. Oh, my face is in the middle. Let me just put it over here. You can select that sphere and like move it in, and I think that should help. Yeah, there we go. Move this down a little bit, make that a little bigger maybe. Okay, yeah, that's much better. So you can see that the um, bricks brightened up. Cool. Um, Another thing that I did here, just, you know, 
because I wanted to is um, you see like when you look right into the this portal you see the sky first um, I just wanted to do that because I thought it looked better than kind of looking into the cliffs um, so that's a, also a very easy fix I'm gonna go ahead and select the sphere with um, the skybox image texture I'm gonna open up the material panel open up the image texture and then I'm just gonna go ahead and offset it a little bit um, I'll try like 0.5 what it does is like it basically just rotates the image texture that's applied inside. Um, I think you still see a lot of the cliff part, so maybe it's like 0 0.7. Okay, there we go. I like that better. I like that better, just stylistically. Um, let me just select all of these boxes and then do Command Group to group them. I'm going to bring them a little down. And then I'll, yeah, I'll just name this gate. And I'm naming this sphere skybox. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay, so the last, one of the last things that we're gonna do here, let me just lock these, is um, import the animation. And as long as you have a 3D model that has animation baked in, this should be pretty easy. Um, I'm gonna go open up my finder. Uh, I'm just gonna put it to the side. Um, you guys might not see it in your screen, but that's okay. I'm just like, I'm picking a the hummingbird that I wanted to put in. So I'm gonna grab that GLB file and then I'm gonna drop it in here. So now we have a hummingbird here. Um, you'll notice that it's static and it's not, you know, uh, animating. And that's because you actually have to press play here. So as long as soon as you press play on the right sidebar, you'll see that it comes to life. Um, it's currently positioned outside of the portal, like in front of it. So I'm just going to bring this in with the gizmo and then put it inside the portal. Maybe just like make it a little bigger too. It's, it's going to be a very big hummingbird. But, you know, it's a fantasy world, so it's okay. And yeah, there we go. That's really simple. Um, and if you want to see this in, you know, in augmented reality, either in your, uh, in your phone or headset, just make sure to have uh, that AR mode is toggled on. Um, what that essentially means is that it makes the opacity of the background of like the environment 0%. So that it has passed through and you're able to see your real world, like your surroundings uh, when you're in augmented reality. And that's it for today. Thanks for joining us and watching this tutorial. And I hope that you will join our portals challenge. Bye.